Hello. Someone has requested if I would do a video showing how I made my circle quilt card. So this is this is how I made it. This is the card that I made. And this is one of the ways that you can use your scraps that are one inch or less. Okay. And these are actually one inch circles. And I use this small one inch circle punch. And I punched these, these circles out. And then I folded them up and backed them on a piece of black paper. And then laid them on the card. So I'm going to go through step by step how I did this. Okay. For visual purposes, while I'm showing you though, instead of doing working with a one inch, first I'm going to work with this bigger one because that way you can see exactly what I'm doing. This is one and a half inch punch. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut out two circles already and I'm going to go ahead and cut another one out because I'm going to show you what you need is you need two different patterns. So that's what you're going to need first. So for two patterns, you're going to need a piece of paper and you're going to need a piece of cardstock. Okay. So, and I'll show you what the piece of paper is for. That's so you can draw, draw how to put it all together. All right, so in order to do this, then you cut out a circle. You're gonna fold this twice. So you're gonna do edge to edge, increase it, open it up. Then you're gonna do this crease to this crease. Edge to edge, make sure it's lined up, and then crease it again. Okay, that creates an X on your, on your circle. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is we need to cut this with a pair of scissors from this corner to this corner. Snip it right off. Okay, we're gonna do that all the way around. So then we're gonna do this corner over to that corner, this corner to that corner, this corner to that corner. Okay, so now you have a square. Okay, so these little edges that we cut off, we can dispose of, throw those in the garbage. Okay, this piece we're going to use on a piece of cardstock. Okay, so, and you want it to be the same size as whatever, whatever decorative paper you're going to use because you need a piece of cardboard or cardstock for your folding pattern. Okay, so as you can see, you can still see the rest of the circle here which is good, but you also want to make sure that you can see, can you, I think you can see that, or would you see the white better? No, I think you can see the black part better. All right, you want to make sure that your pattern does not hang out over. This is kind of tight, and one of my corners is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to trim this side off just a wee little bit, just a little sliver. Okay, then let's see how that fits. Yeah, okay, that fits better. So that's the important thing for the folding. It, this square has got to fit inside this circle with no overhang. So you should be able to do this without touching that, that square, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow this pattern and you're going to snip off these because now you're gonna make a hard copy of your pattern. Make sure it doesn't move Make sure you keep it lined up and then trim your corners off. Okay, now you want to save this. This is your pattern. This you can throw away. The four pieces, the four bits that you cut off can be thrown away. Okay, all right, and I like to do P for pattern. That way I know that's my pattern piece. Okay, so now, and you can see this is my pattern that I made for these ones, for the little one inch. So look at the difference. <laughs> Big difference, huh? That's why I wanted to show you with this size instead. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pattern and we're gonna cut out, I'm gonna show you how many. You're gonna need one, two, three, four, five colors, okay? So choose five colors of decorative paper for one color, you need four circles punched out. That's gonna go right down the middle. 
So whatever the main color you want to go down, right straight down the middle, then that's where you want the four, the four circles to go, okay? So that's your first color. The other four colors, you only need three circles of each one. And I'll, sh and I'll show you why when, we, when we're lining them up, okay? So you only need four of one color and then three of the other four colors, okay? So that's your next step. So step number one is make your little pattern. Step number two is punch out your circles and then line them up so that way you can see, you know, exactly where they are, okay? Then the next step is you're going to take your pattern, you're going to lay it on a piece of paper, or on, on your circle rather, and it should fit right inside, and then you're going to fold the edges around. And that's why you made this square, is to make a folding pattern for yourself. Okay? It has a little tail on it. So and again, you lay it down on your pattern. And if you're noticing that it's, so like you can see on this one here, then as soon as I folded this one over, it pushed it over a little bit. So my pattern's a little bit too big. So you can either take it out and line it up against this here, and then fold this one over, and that should be okay. Or for me, it's easier to just trim it again. So just trim a little thin sliver and a little thin sliver on two sides, okay? Then, look at that. Oh, that fits perfect. Very good. So now you can fold all four sides in over your pattern, remove your pattern, and then go on to the next one. Okay? So now I'm going to switch over to the actual size that I use because now you know how to make your pattern. Mark it so you don't forget, and you know how many to cut out. Okay, how many to punch out? If you don't have a circle punch, that's okay. If you have something that you can draw around, this is a circle. Okay, that's definitely a circle. This is a circle. This is a circle. Anything you have, this is a circle. Find something that the size that you like, this is a circle, and trace around it. Make yourself a hard copy of it so that way you can use that as your circle pattern. Trace around it and then cut them all out. Okay? All right, so now we've got all of our colors together. So, and I'm gonna see if I can move these up here in a nice, neat fashion if possible. And I'm gonna turn this over because the next thing I want you to do is pull out a piece of paper and I want you to draw this graph. Just draw a square, okay? So you need a square. And it doesn't matter what color it is because this is just for a pattern for yourself, okay? So you draw a square, and it doesn't matter how big it is, just draw it on the paper. Cut it in half with your pencil. So draw a pencil line in half. Draw a pencil line in half again. And then draw, do both of those in half, and half, and half, and in half, okay? So then you have one, two, three, four. Four going across and one, two, three, four going down, okay? That is how you're gonna, you're gonna use this chart to line your, your pieces up, okay? Once you make your chart, then you can use it over and over and over again. That'll make it easier for you. So you wanna save your chart, and now what you wanna do is this. You wanna take all of your circles that you've done and the middle one, they're all the same color, so I've got my, my red ones, so I can put those in the middle. There you go. All right, and then this is the next one. So this is number one, so number one goes here, and then the other two pieces go here. Oops, I didn't show you how to write these down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so you're gonna do one on this corner, and then one, one over here. Okay, then you're gonna Number two, number two, and number two. Okay, so that's the two corners. That's the only real confusing part. Okay, then you can see the rest. I've got three, three, and three, 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 and then I've got four, 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 and then five. Okay, so now we're gonna line them up. And if you write those numbers down, then you know where to lay these. So this is the fifth color, and we have four of these. So one, two, three, four, 
Okay, the next color we have three of. So we're going to do number one over here, number one over here, number one over here. Okay, the next color we have three of. So we're going to do number two, number two, and number two. The next one we have three of. So we're going to do number three, number three, and I still need to fold this one. So I'm going to fold this one. And there you go. Lay that down. And then we just have number four left, which is another th three circles of the same color. Okay, so then you just fold them over. And if you make yourself this little pattern and you make yourself this graph, this, this laying down graph, it makes it so much easier for you. Okay, so there's one. We've got two left. two and one more this is such a fun pattern to work with now depending on the size of your circles is depending on how big your your quilt is going to be your card quilt so I use one inch circles so mine when you squeeze them all in together it comes out to be three by three it's a little bit less than three by three because you can see I cut this black piece as at three by three. Oh yeah, let's see. Okay, you can see the numbers. Can you see the numbers? Yes, you can, okay. So there you go. So it's a little bit less than three by three. So there's three inches and if I turn it this way, a little bit less than three inches, okay? So once you once you line it up like this, then you can transfer it over onto a piece of paper. So let's do that. So I'm going to get a piece of black paper and I'm going to cut this three by three. And this is just construction paper. I use this a lot for layering because it's a lot cheaper than buying black cardstock. So mine's going to be three by three. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So if you use a one inch circle, it should they should fit in a three by three inch square, okay? So then we can put this piece back over there. So then all you're going to do is you're going to go from here to here. You're just going to move them over, okay? So we're going to take this and lay this down. We're going to take these two and lay these down. And take these three and lay them down. these four and lay them down. Take these three and lay them down. Take these two and lay them down. And take this last one and lay it down. Okay? So there you go. So that's why I had you make your graph so that way you can line them up. Okay? And you may want to write down five colors. You need four colors that are just three circles, and then one color that's four circles, okay? So if you write that down, then you won't forget. Then you just need your little pattern, and the pattern, you can just stick it right to that, okay? You can even take and put your one of your circles there too, if you wanted to. So I'm probably going to take this and just use my, use a, yeah, paper clip, that's what they're called. <laughs> and just clip it right to it and then put it in my file folder. That way it's with it. That way you don't have to worry about losing it. Okay, or you can write down one inch circle. Okay, alrighty, so now we're gonna move this out in the middle here. And now we have to glue these down, okay? And they should fit together. If you put them, if you butt them up against each other, then there should be enough room for you to have a little slight edge. So let's do this. So we're going to take the first one. We're going to put a little glue and put that down, leaving just a slight little border. And then the second one. And then the third one. And 
And if you use tacky glue, you have plenty of wiggle room. Okay, so then, and I just put a little bit in the middle just so I can see, and I can move them around now. I wanna try to adjust them. All right, so that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, so now we can do the next row. And you don't want to do one side and then the other. You want to just keep going over because it's better to start at one side and then end up on the other side because if your black paper is a little bit too big, then you can always trim it down. If it's too short, then you'll have to add another piece of black paper under it to make sure that it's long enough. Okay, so that's that one. Let's put this one down. Put this one down. These are real tricky because they are so little. This one down. Okay, and see, and I'm already seeing extra black here, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me because we can always trim that off. They come together and they look so pretty. And I like making myself little patterns for memory's sake. There, now what I'm gonna do is go back and if you press these, you spread, them, you spread the two pieces open and then you press it down in the middle, you can make sure that it's lined up by doing that. So press it down, open those up and press it down Make sure they're squeezed in together. Push that in together, okay. There, good. And that one, that one's good. That one's good. This one's good. Very good, all righty. Good, 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 all right. And then we can turn it around and do the other ones. Make sure those are pressed open and pressed down. And if you can see a little bit of black, that's okay. Don't worry about it. That's just part of paper quilting. Okay, this one, this one, this one. All right, very good. So now you can see mine's put together and you can see that it's a little bit longer on this side, which is easy because then you just take a pair of scissors and you just cut a thin strip off. There you go. And I can say honestly, each time I've made one of these, I've had to trim off at least one little edge. This one could be trimmed off a little bit. Uh, yeah, maybe I will do that one too. But it's better to have it too big than too small. If you do end up with it being too small, then that's okay. Don't worry about it. If you've used black paper, then you really don't see if you have to take another piece of paper and lay it on there to extend it. And you can just glue it right behind. Or you can go ahead and just trim all the black off all the way around and then go ahead and glue the whole thing on another piece. Okay? So there you go. That's how you make it. So again, we'll go over it again. You want to make your pattern. So you choose what size circle. I started with a one inch circle. Okay? You need a piece of, a piece of decorative paper and a piece of cardstock or cardboard, either one. I would suggest cardstock though because it's thinner and it'll help you to fold easier. Then you need to cut it down. You need to fold this, cut your pattern out, trace it onto your pattern and cut it. Draw your graph, your four by four squares, write your numbers down. One, 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 two, 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 three, four, Five. Okay, so there you go. You can even, if you don't want to number them, you can even color them. So you could just take a color and just, you know, a crayon and just color those in. That one, this one, this one. That way you know which ones they are. So whichever one's easy for you. Okay, alrighty. I hope this helps you and I can't wait to see if you're making them. Please share them on in our group. I would love to see yours and see how they come out. So, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up 
And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.